Good evening to you. Today is Juneteenth, the holiday that commemorates the end of slavery. Now, historically, this is the day in 1865 when Union General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas to inform the slaves they'd been freed. That announcement came more than two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Today, many communities across Kentucky are celebrating the first year of Juneteenth as a federal holiday. Our Grayson Passmore has more on how General Granger was remembered today in a special ceremony. Her story is for First on Fox. I don't think that he would ever even realize 166 years later that we would still be talking about it and what he did. So this is little this is Gordon Granger's story. Major General Gordon Granger was sent to Galveston, Texas at the end of the Civil War. His job was to read General Order Number Three, which uh, set forth that uh, from henceforth, the uh, enslaved people in Texas were free. Until that day, June 19, 1865, enslaved people did not know President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. They celebrated, and they began calling that day Juneteenth. And the general who delivered the life-changing news, buried right here in Lexington Cemetery, Reading dedicate his grave marker, the impressive monument just behind me. With the sense of Union veterans, Chaplain Roger Hurt says there couldn't have been a more appropriate day to rededicate General Granger's grave marker. And we now, thanks to the uh, Congress of the United States, have a new federal holiday in commemoration of that happy event. Grayson Passmore for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news.